experience that a lot of families look forward to. But for some parents who have a child with autism, it can be stressful. And tonight, a push to help ease that experience. NBC4's Rob Snead shows us how blue pumpkin candy buckets help those passing out candy better understand the child. Rob. Yeah, darling, finding one of those blue buckets, those blue pumpkins, is virtually impossible at the moment, but they are out there. And if you're passing out candy tonight, you certainly want to be on the lookout just for that. Now, in just a few moments, you'll have kids coming up and down the street, not only knocking on doors for trick or treating, of course, but looking at the decorations you can see right here some skeletons, some ghouls, some goblins. These things are exciting to a lot of kids, but those who carry those blue pumpkins, it could be kind of startling. So, tonight, parents who have kids affected by autism, they're sending out a message. These proud mothers look at these pictures of their children and bond. Mm -hmm. Heather Watson and Kylie Maxwell have several things in common. Both have eight year old boys with autism who attend Bridgeway Academy Primary School, and they know firsthand how trick or treating can be stressful. Brody doesn't typically appropriately do it the way that you're supposed to, he doesn't verbalize trick or treat, um, he won't wait for the other children. He kind of like knows what he wants, so he goes right for it. Watson got her son Brody the blue pumpkin bucket, so others trick-or-treating will have a better understanding of her child. It's just like an ignorance. What you don't know, you don't know. And so it's nice that the blue pumpkin can kind of give them an idea of there's differences and we want to accept them. Um, and we're not assuming things based on their differences. Maxwell supports this unofficial movement, but says some parents don't. A lot of the controversy is also, my child is already vulnerable. I don't want to have them carrying a blue bucket that shows how vulnerable they are to people that have ill intentions with children. Not everyone with autism may want to carry the blue pumpkin, but if you run into a child that may be overzealous or come off rude, she says don't assume the worst in them. Be kind, be patient. If a child isn't happy with the piece of candy that you gave them, and reaches into your bucket, um, they just might socially not have that understanding that that's not acceptable. Now this year, Maxwell does not have a blue pumpkin, but she says she will buy one next year, but she says she's gonna carry it instead of her child so that people can know that her family's affected by autism, all while not singling out her, her son. Local for you in Clintonville, Rob Sneed, NBC4. All right, Rob, thank you.